Howdy everyone. Welcome to This Old Vegan. My name is Merlene Vassell. In this video, I'm inviting you to play my quiz game and rate yourself on how well you can identify products which are vegan or not vegan. If you'd like to keep score, grab something to write on. I'm going to go through 20 products and you'll have a few seconds to decide whether each one is vegan or not. I'll give you the answer after each product, so if you need more time to think, please be prepared to pause the video. At the very end, I'll let you know whether you're a potato, cabbage, or banana based on your score. Are you ready? Here we go. Number one, Amy's Chunky Tomato Bisque. Amy's Chunky Tomato Bisque. Is it vegan or not? If you guessed not, you're correct. It contains cream. Number two, Coffee Mate Non-Dairy Creamer. Is it vegan or not? The answer is not. It contains sodium cassinate, which is a milk derivative. Number three, Cracker Jack. If you remember Cracker Jack, it's the candy-coated popcorn peanut and a prize. Vegan or not? If you like Cracker Jack, you're in luck, it is vegan. Number four, Doritos Spicy Sweet Chili Flavored Tortilla Chips. I've never actually had them, but are they vegan or not? Yes, they are vegan. Number five, Fritos, those mysterious corn chips. Vegan or not? Fritos only have three ingredients, corn, corn oil, and salt. They are vegan. Number six, Grandma Utz potato chips. Vegan or no? If you said no, you're correct. They contain lard. You should be careful with potato chips if you're trying to follow a vegan diet because some of them contain lard and those that are flavored often contain dairy products as well. Number seven, Haribo Gold Bears, otherwise known as Gummy Bears. Vegan? No, they are not vegan. They contain gelatin. Gelatin is a protein that's produced when an animal's skin, bones, ligaments, and so forth are boiled. So no, any item that contains gelatin is not vegan. Number eight, Hershey's chocolate syrup. Vegan or no? You'll be happy to know that Hershey's chocolate syrup is a decadent topping that you can add to your vegan dessert or beverage. It is vegan. Number nine, Icebreaker's gum. Icebreaker's gum. No, it is not vegan. It contains gelatin. Be careful to read the ingredients on gum packages because sometimes they contain either gelatin or beeswax. Number 10, Land O'Lakes Margarine Sticks. Is this a vegan alternative to butter? No, it isn't. It contains buttermilk. Oftentimes, margarine contains dairy products. Number 11, Mentos Breath Mints. Are they vegan? No, they aren't. They contain beeswax. Breath mints sometimes contain gelatin or beeswax, so you need to be careful. Number 12, Morning Star Spicy Black Bean Burgers. Are they vegan? No, they contain egg whites. 13, Nature's Valley Crunchy Peanut Butter Granola Bars. Vegan or not? Oftentimes granola is not vegan because it contains honey or butter or chocolate chips that include milk, but Nature Valley Crunchy Peanut Butter Granola Bars are in fact vegan. Number 14, Nature's Own Whole Wheat Bread. What do you think? Unfortunately, it's not vegan. It contains honey. 
Oftentimes breads contain either honey or milk derivatives. So you have to be careful if you're trying to follow a vegan diet. Number 15, Orita Tater Tots. I love taters, but are these tots vegan? Yes, they are vegan. Number 16, Oreos. They've been touted as America's favorite sandwich cookie for over a hundred years, but are they vegan? Oreos, I'm happy to say, are vegan. Number 17, Quaker Oats Cinnamon Life. They are promoted as heart healthy and made with whole grain oats, but are they vegan? Yes, they are. 18, Ritz crackers, the original buttery crackers. Are they vegan? Yes, they are. 19, skinny pop white cheddar flavored popped popcorn. That's a mouthful to say, and it doesn't sound vegan. What do you think? Yes, it is vegan. And finally, number 20, Tropicana Pure Premium Healthy Heart Orange Juice. Is this orange juice vegan? No, it isn't. Believe it or not, it contains fish oil and fish gelatin. So here are my three takeaways. Number one, always read labels. You may be surprised at what the ingredients are in some of your favorite foods or new foods you may be thinking about trying. Number two, ingredients change from time to time, so be sure to read the labels often, even if you've read them before. Number three, some labels will indicate that there may be cross-contamination because the food product is made in a facility that is not completely vegan. In those cases, there may be trace amounts of non-vegan items in the food product you will have to decide on what you want to do about that, whether you want to continue to eat the food or not. This is also an issue in restaurants that serve vegan food, but that are not completely vegan. Now, let's see how you did. If you got 10 or fewer correct, then you are at the potato level. If you got 11 to 15 correct, then you have climbed to the three cabbage level. If you got 16 to 20 correct, then you have achieved five banana status. Congratulations. Please let me know how you did in the comments and whether anything surprised you. Thanks for participating and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Take care.